G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Boring Your Heart Out. I'm gonna do another better fish. Or is it a beta fish? It's got a double T, I don't know. My last one I did, I put honeybees and sunflowers in uh, and I backed it with white. So this time, I really wanna do these artificial little flowers that I found on, uh, on Amazon. And they're, they're kind of purple and teal pale blue sort of a, a color so i want to try and use those they had stems on and i just snipped them off and then towards the the top I had the little smaller ones not exactly sure how successful i'm going to be because they're going to can't keep sort of bending but i thought i'd dip them in resin first to coat them and then put them in and there's quite a few little shallow areas uh, where you know these will be too big to go in. Uh, so I've also got these and I'll snip those off and then I've also got these little flat ones which will kind of go through there into the shallower areas. Um, and then I've also got these little butterfly charms. <clears throat> now these did have a little loop on their ends there and I just got my wire cutters and I snipped them off. So I've picked, there was a few different colours in a, in a bag, you, you can you get them in a bag. And there's quite a lot in there, but I just picked out the sort of purple and teal ones. And I got these little dragonflies as well. They also had a little loop across at the at the top, and I just snipped those off. So um, I have those. So they'll fit in nicely, sort of in those shallow areas there, where it's not, not sort of deep enough for a big flower. And then I've also got some stickers. So I've got a, I just sort of pulled out everything that was kind of purpley and and teal. Uh, with these, I'm not going to. I'm going to try and cut. The, uh, I don't know. Sometimes, if you peel the backing off, you kind of lose your sticker. Kind of just curls over. So sometimes it's easy just to actually cut around. Can you see the, the clear edge there? Sometimes you know it's easier just to sort of trim around your actual piece like so um, and then you know you're not really going to see see that edge especially if it's got other things around it so I may do that so there's I've got a, a few of those that I've picked and I've also picked some eyes I thought these ones were nice they have kind of a, a purple and a blue shade together and as usual, they just come in my little bag that I bought from Amazon. Don't peel the backs off, okay, because that's the actual eye. It's just a little glass cabochon and it's got the eye on the little um, piece of paper on the back. These are eight millimeters. So that's it. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, the actual dorsal fin there. I think it's called a dorsal fin. I'm gonna use this. That's resin chameleon powder. I do have the intense chameleon powders, but I've heard from a few viewers that can't get them where they live so you can also just use the let's resin chameleon which is also amazing and I think the teal will go really well with um, with my flowers haven't decided if I want to back it with anything yet not sure if I want to put a backing color on it or see what it looks like I may just leave it clear because I can't really put if I wanted to put a black backing on it, it would probably be teal and I think then you'll sort of won't see the teal flowers. So I'm just going to dust this. Um, or the other colour would be purple. Um, yeah, I think black I think black would be too heavy. I mean, like, I could do white again. I could do white. Or I could do really, really pale blue. Like a really pale teal. That way you can still see these flowers against it. Like, mainly white with just a tiny, tiny little bit of teal in it. I don't think I'd do purple because there's quite a lot of purple with these flowers here. So yeah, maybe just teal or, or white. We'll see. I may do it in a in a couple of layers. I'll just finish this off and then I'll get to the eyes. Alright, that's finished. I just use a little paintbrush to dust with, give it a clean afterwards so that you can use it again for another colour. So that's those done. So any areas that I've kind of the dust's gone over where I don't want it, I'll just get a little baby wipe and just sort of 
what it kind of does you know it sort of flicks up onto areas around it but that's okay you can just dust it off wipe it off I should say wipe off the powder will do if there's a couple of little areas on there it's not going to matter it's all it's all the same color should look really pretty I've been looking forward to doing this color scheme for a while now <laughs> all right <clears throat> now the next thing the eyes the eyes I always struggle with the eyes oh last time I didn't I'm using the um, that's resin UV resin and I've just got my little UV lamp you can either use well it's a torch torch flashlight UV flashlight um, so you can either use that if you just want to sort of hold it in a certain area or you can just use your normal UV lamp which I've got under my my table so oh, I might do either all right let's move these little eyes out of the way what I'm gonna do is it's easier <clears throat> if you can tip it up so that your drop of resin is gonna sit straight in there like that And you can use a little toothpick or a silicon stick or something just to make sure that that resin you don't need much one drop two drops don't need much and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the little eye there next to that and then I'm just going to because I don't really want to stick my gloves in there I'm just going to kind of whoops it's flipped over Just going to kind of press it in there. Doesn't want to work. Okay. Tweezers. <laughs> Pop it in with your tweezers, like so. I don't know if you can see. And then just pop it in there. I've probably got a little bit much, actually. But look, it's, it doesn't matter because I'm having clear resin in there. So what I like to do is try to hold the, the mould in the in like the, the direction that the eye is going to sit rather than try and lay it down and then the eye moves so get it where you want it turn your UV little light on just got to hold this for a few seconds <laughs> until it's cured enough for me to put down so basically what it's doing is it's just curing the little bit of resin that's kind of poked out around the eye because I put like two drops in so when I put the glass eye in it kind of pushed the rest out it's be it's better to do that I think than have a bubble of air under the eye okay so that should be cured enough for me to just do the other one and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to hold it this way hopefully the other one won't fall out Hold it this way, put a little drop or two that's got two drops in it. Pick up my little eyeball, put it in there, make sure it's at the right angle. And then I don't think it's quite right so that's it that's another reason why I like to use the torch because I can pick the mold up and you know place it where I want it and then just put the torch on did it move Does keep wanting to move <laughs> all right that's it I think I've got it now keeps wanting to move but while it's curing you know you've got a little bit of of time to kind of move it around if it doesn't want to stay where it's told 
think my batteries might be going a bit flat. I haven't used it all that much, but it's um it's new. Or is it supposed to flicker? I don't know. Alright, so I think that's done enough. So what I'm gonna do now is so they're both in there. I'm going to get my lamp out and put it over the top and cure them both. And then I'll do the, the side as well because I've done that side. Now I need to do this side. And you can do that because this is one of those sort of transparent-ish moulds. Um, you can't do it with my other white moulds. Like you can't cure through the back of that. It's too thick. It's too opaque. But these, these you can. So we'll do that side of the eye. I'll do that side of the eye. I'm going to mix up my resin. Um, and then I'll come back to you. I was just about to put these away and I thought I'd better show you. Uh, so you get 10 different colours in here. That's them there. So yeah, really pretty. Lots of different shades. Uh, I will link that for you. That's champagne. Lots of different colours. Blue. Um, and they, they came with a little brush as well, which was, which was great. It comes with a little brush as well. All right, so I will link, not that particular item, but I will link Let's Resin's um, US website, the US Amazon website, and the UK Amazon website. And there's also a coupon code for you. All right, we'll do the other eye as well. Ah, now I can go and mix my resin. I've mixed up my resin. It is crystal clear. It's really really thin it's like water this resin I'm using the let's resin epoxy resin for deep pour maximum pour depth uh, between two inches and four inches so five centimeters to ten centimeters deep which I won't need for all of this I mean down there it is probably five centimeters or two inches but up here it's a bit shallower so that's part A and then that's part B. So it's a two to one. Oh, there we go. A is a bigger bottle because you've got to use two parts of that to one part of that. So I'm going to do it in a couple of layers just so I've got no flowers poking up through the top. I did 300 grams of part A and 130 grams of part B because A is always heavier. If you're doing it by volume, that's fine. You could do, um, you know, 300 milliliters to... 150 milliliters but because I weigh them 300 to 130 all right so let's spray I want to spray just around the edges with my isopropyl um, and then we'll pour some in and that'll just the isopropyl I find just helps break that surface tension of the resin just to stop any little bubbles from clinging to the edges but like I said it's really bubble free there's no bubbles in there really bubble free resin um, but if they do want to cling the bubbles they're usually going to usually going to do it on the edges all right so what I want to do I'll move these out of the way I hope Hopefully you can still see. I might have to move this over a bit, actually. So I want to put that there. So I want to use this. And I don't know if you can see, but some of the areas up here, the higher areas, they're not covered with resin yet. So I'm not going to worry about that. Now you've just sprayed alcohol into your mold. So see that come to bubbles. They don't torch, don't torch, because you've got alcohol in there, and the alcohol being um, a liquid. Is going to rise to the surface and sit on the top so you've got to wait if you want a torch which I would advise you not to because you'll ruin your mold but if you have to um, use like a, a long neck lighter or something wait until the alcohol has been evaporated but you can certainly spray like that see and then they're gone all right let's pour the rest of this resin in here probably should have kept a little bit more actually I just want to dip my I'm going to dip my flowers so that that 
That's loud, isn't it? <laughs> I want to dip the flowers because if I just put them straight in, I'm going to catch bubbles underneath. It's fine if you're putting them that way and this is the top, but it's they've got to go in upside down because the other side is the top. So I think this is going to be a bit messy. <laughs> and look, if that folds over, then so be it. It's can't do much about it. These are fabric, little fabric flowers. All right. Let's, let's try not to make too much of a mess, shall we? All right, dunk that in. I should get a baby wipe so I can clean my, my gloves off after I've stuck my fingers in the resin. I've got gloves on, don't worry. <laughs> Stick them in there. I want it totally submerged. So I want the resin to go between those petals. You can see there's a few little bubbles coming out while I'm doing that. Okay, how's that looking? Ah, that's pretty good. All right, here we go. Let's just dunk it in there. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Now, what can I use to, what can be my dunker? This, I'll use this. Now, I don't know if my petals are out. Oh, no, that one's out. I can't see the other one. So I'm not filling the, the mold totally because you can see how that's poking out. Um, when I do my next layer, um, I'll cover them. I find if you if you put it make it too deep and your flowers float, then you've got no room left to put a top coat on to, to hide them. So I, I just feel that it's easier, safer, just to do it in two two layers. Now I can actually see see can you see that little can you see that little dot there? little white dot. Yeah, it's a bubble. So I'm just going to push with my little silicone tool here. Push, push, push. It's quite deep down in there. And we're just going to get any bubbles that are trapped under the flower to come out. Like so. Alright, now those bubbles will either dissipate on their own or we can pop them later with some isopropyl. I'll just do it all at once. I'm not going to do it so many times. All right, now, um, now because there's no resin up here yet, I'm not going to put any little things in there yet. I'm just going to concentrate on the the deeper pieces. There's that one there as well. So you can go in. I'll do a couple and then um, I'll put you on fast forward. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse in, in fast forward so that you're not spending an hour <laughs> looking at, at what I'm doing. Now the resin, this resin takes like 36 to 48 hours to cure up depending on the temperature of your room. If you're going to unmold it, I'm not going to unmold it after, like I'll leave it sitting in here for today and then I'll come back and I'll do another layer. So it'll be like, it'll be tacky, um, certainly not hard enough to unmold, but it will be hard enough for me to come through and do my next layer. So we'll do that. I think it's going to look really pretty. Now you, where are you little petal? Little petal, I want you to come out. Out that way hopefully I've got the petals facing the right way and if you need to later on like you know once your once your piece is cured before you put your top coat on you can come through and these are only little plastic you can snip those off if, if those are still sticking up too high it's not a problem, you can just snip them off, okay? So, what else can we put on? What else can we put on? Wish I had a few more little, like, teal flowers, but I don't. I've got these smaller ones. Um, so these little guys here, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to actually snip those. Just going to snip the ends off. Like so. 
because I can't put them all in like that. And I don't want to put them in on their sides, but I think they're really pretty. So we'll just snip them off. These are little plastic ones. If you've got real flowers, you can use real flowers if you want to. Get off me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna use these. So just kind of dot them around. And you can add them later on, you know, if you want to. I would just push them down so that they're submerged. Just add a few here and there. Maybe they're hard to pick up. <laughs> Whoops, dropped him. Now you got some green on you. I don't think I'll use that one. difficult to pick up so yeah basically just <clears throat> just as little fillers like that make sure you're wiping your tongs off um, and then what will we do give it a quick little spray and I think I'll use some of this now these you can also just cut your little stem off about there. Oh, I don't know where it went. <laughs> Flicked it over. I don't know which side's the top and which is the bottom, but you can choose whichever side you prefer, I guess. And then I like to have the stick covered. Like when you flip it upside down, you don't want to see the, the end of the stick, so we'll hide it behind like that. I've actually got some purple ones of these little ones as well, but I don't think we're going to need purple because we've got so much purple already in the in the blooms. So if you think that you know that's a bit big, you can just you can snip a piece off. And then just you know use use a little a little piece like that. Again, I'll make sure that that end of the little stick is behind that petal. And then you just just play with it. I also found some um, some lavender. Don't know if I want to use that or not. It looks a bit dull in comparison to these bright flowers. So. I don't know I'll put it there um, and then of course if you wanted to you could add a little flower which I think may look nice like in between something like that we'll just trim around it I don't mind if part of my flowers are covered you know, overlapping. I think it looks more real, more, more natural. Okay, I was going to say which is the top and which is the bottom. Okay, so that ends down, okay. I'm going to just dip it into my resin so that it's wet. And I'm going to... Ah. Can someone just move that over for me? I'm gonna, I wanna put it over there. I wanna put it, I wanna put it here, like that. So it's in between those two. And again, I will sink it. That bit there's high, it's not covered with resin yet. So anyway, you get the general idea of what I'm going to do and then these little tiny ones they'll just kind of float around wherever they want to go like so all right um yeah so as I was saying the resin because it takes so long to cure you've got a lot of work time like you could spend two hours on this putting flowers and stickers and butterflies wherever you want you've got plenty of work time even longer than two hours before it starts to thicken so yeah, it's great for that. All right, I'm going to put you on a time lapse and uh, 
I'll add some more. I might not do the whole thing because, you know, I don't want to be time-lapsing an hour's worth of things. Um, I'll work out what can go. I want something to go there. And I'll try, while I've got you here before you go, I'll try to put it... I'll try to put something, one of the flowers that goes into those fins and then up the head. So something that's like this one. Maybe I'll just do it now while, you, while you're still here with me. While I've got your attention, I'll do that because that'll fit nicely there. I hope I don't have any bubbles under those. I'll put him in there. That there. And that there. Doesn't want to sit properly, I don't know why. <laughs> Need to wriggle it a little bit more to get it. Anyway, there we go. There we go. I think that's it. We've got one in there. We've got one in there. One in there. Hopefully all my petals are laid out nicely. Okay. Um, I'll come back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I've left this uh, overnight and you may have seen in my little really quick video there that when I had finished laying everything, I put these little um, little silicone discs, little druzy inlaid discs just over the top just to keep some of those flowers down. And all we do is just peel them out and then if there's any... Any little bits that we need to trim, we can do that. Just peel those out. So I may just use my little snippers here and just trim these little druzy bits that are on the bottom. And also, if I think that it's going to, anything's going to kind of poke out a little bit through my next coat, I'll just 
give those a bit of a, a trim as well. Now, I did decide, I was thinking like overnight, oh gosh, what colour do I do? I don't want to do purple because we've got purple um, flowers and I don't want to do blue or aqua because I've got, um, you know, the, the blue and aqua flowers in there. So I don't want to do that. And then I was thinking, the only thing that is really left um, is pink bit of silicone in there is pink and I didn't want to I thought mm, maybe pink but then I thought no uh, so anyway I've just decided to do white <laughs> just to do white because I think that the colors will really pop against the the white I think that will be the best thing um, probably you could just lay a piece of plastic like a plastic bag probably would have been a better idea just like that and then put your board over that but um so, because now I have to trim up around these little druzies that I I put in. But you know me, I, I do things the hard way and then I, I think about a better way afterwards and then I tell you guys. So <laughs> a little bit of a helping hand there anyway. Now there's this petals poking out. I may just sort of, I think I'll need scissors for that. If anything's poking out, you can just, just trim it a little bit. Make it look nice. I think that's it. Everything seems to be below the level that it needs to be. All right, so I have mixed up some resin with some just white pigment paste. Doesn't matter what brand you use, just any white, and we'll pour that on. Hopefully it's going to cover everything, otherwise I can just get my scissors and just trim anything that's still poking out. Can't really tell at the moment until the white goes on. But hopefully it will. Just don't, just put your white on carefully, or whatever colour you've chosen for your background, just do it. Do it carefully, you don't want to overflow everything and make a big mess. You can always add a little bit more you know, afterwards. Just cover everything up. This looks as if it's going to be good. Looks as if I'm going to cover everything. All right. So there's a tiny little bit poking up there. Don't think I need to worry about that. Uh, if you were concerned, you could just, I think it's a bit of petal actually. And these don't cut the petal. I'd have to use scissors. Um, but look, I'm not, it's not poking out through the top. You can just see it underneath. All right, so give it a bit of a spray with some isopropyl. And that's it. So we'll leave that to cure now. It should be done in about eight hours or so six or eight hours because I didn't use the deep pour just for that because it's you know it's only a thin little lap so you can use regular resin for that there's a bubble coming up squirt that <laughs> or you can just use a, a toothpick but like you know it's the back it doesn't matter if there's a, a bubble or so on the back but by all means you can just pop those little bubbles if they're coming up I think it's just from where I had that druzy all right, so I've got a little bit of white left. I'm going to make some puffy hearts out of that. So that's it. I'll leave it like that and uh, I'll see you for the unmolding. Okay, I uh, actually just left it overnight because I was busy doing other things. And uh, it, it's ready. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I hope the white backing was a good choice. So I like to start at the shallowest area first and then move my way up. This is the, the deepest over here where the, the body of the fish is. Comes out really easy. It's not a difficult mold to unmold. You don't have to worry about, you know, breaking toes or breaking antenna or anything like that. A little bit of overflow there. Just break that off. So yeah, it's... um. It's a nice easy one. Just get those little extra bits out that I've 
and a bit of overflow of come off really easy and there it is she's out or maybe he I will link my fish mold for you down in the description it's now available on my US Amazon store yay but if you're in Australia um, you can still get it through my eBay store or you can buy it through um, eBay anywhere anywhere in the world most countries anyway some countries no oh gosh some countries I have so much problem with and uh, shipping is so expensive, so I haven't listed them. All right, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, it's nerve-wracking. Oh, my God. You guys, look. Oh, it is gorgeous. I'm so happy I chose the white. Wowzers. Oh, that is stunning. I like that even better than the B one. All right, let's go through and have a look. Oh, eyes, eyes are in the right spot. Yay, there's one. There's the other. And then over here, we've got that little dorsal fin there that I coloured with, um, with the powder. Now, because it's so deep in there and also the fin, you can't really see, you know, that, that flower that I put in there. But you can see the petals <laughs> coming out on the sides which looks so good um, and then obviously it's just purple in there because um, you know there's another flower in there and he's got a little little um, purple head as well because there's a flower in there and then on the edges they're a little bit more they're white a little few flowers in there and a little butterfly in there it kind of moved because it was on an angle but that's fine <laughs> and there's some flowers there's another little butterfly there there's a dragonfly there and then over here on this one, we've got some flowers and they look really good. Nothing's been folded over. There's no bubbles. Oh, I just noticed there's no bubbles. There's a butterfly, more of those little tiny flowers. Actually, there's a, bu there's a bubble. I see a bubble that I trapped because it was like that. I trapped it underneath. Never mind. It's a dewdrop. We can call it a dewdrop. And there's a little butterfly, dragonfly little butterfly so this is quite i'll see if i can show you if you haven't already seen this see how see how it goes up and down it's quite undulating up and down and then up back up again and then down so it's quite an interesting unique sort of mold it's not just flat you do get that texture in it and as well, you get those those ripples. You can see them shining. So those ripples are all the way along. And then in the fish, I don't know if you can pick it up. It's got scales all the way down its body. The actual face is smooth. There's a little lip there, a little mouth. Look at that. I love it, you guys. I love it. <gasps> Let's go outside. We'll go and see what it looks like in the sunshine. Here we go. Outside in the sun. Look at that. Love it. Really happy with it. Now what shall I do next time? I want to still do like a, you know, fish in a fish. So an aquarium type one. I want to do that with little fish and, you know, seashells and starfish, things like that. I'd, I'd like to do one of those. So that'll be coming up. So yeah, let me know. It's really hard to film this with one hand. Let me know what else you would put into it. So there we go. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. It's a gorgeous day today. Gorgeous day today. All right. I'll see you again real soon for the next one. Take care. Bye for now.